faster than light communications over thousands of kilometers. No cellular network needed. Can your mobile phone do that? I'm Captain Two Phones. This is Pocket Now. It's April 1st, 2260, and this is our Starfleet Communicator Review. The Starfleet Communicator of the 2260s is an essential piece of landing party equipment. If you're selected to beam down to a strange new world, you'll want this and your Type 2 phaser at the ready. Type 1, if discretion is called for. The communicator body is built from micromilled duranium and other more classified materials. Rugged enough for some rough and tumble with a Gorn or a Klingon, but keep it away from androids with powerful fists. The metallic cover doubles as the subspace antenna. Opening it also automatically activates the communicator's transmit mode, allowing you to hail other members of your team or your orbiting starship. The user interface includes your channel selector and volume and gain controls, which include emergency modes for discrete signaling in case of a condition green situation. The device makes use of several notification LEDs to inform you of such things as transporter lock status, emergency channel selection, and power level remaining. Above the control panel sits the transceiver assembly, whose display also functions as a signal meter. The communicator is powerful and advanced technology, the best Starfleet has to offer, so the last thing you want to do is leave this device planet-side among members of a primitive society. Okay, so it's April Fools and Starfleet communicators don't really exist. Not outside of Star Trek, anyway. But the device we're showing here is a legitimate custom-built mobile phone accessory. And it's pretty cool. No April Fools. To build it, an enterprising Star Trek fan took an Art Asylum Diamond Select communicator toy gutted it, and added a wholesale Bluetooth speakerphone component inside the shell. The speakerphone pairs with any Bluetooth-enabled mobile phone, and it's controlled by a button on the back of the unit, custom cut into the form of the Starfleet logo. The speakerphone port is also custom drilled into the Starfleet arrowhead, where the 23rd century version's magnetomic adhesion area, <clears throat> patch of Velcro, would be, alongside a very 21st century mini USB port for charging. The communicator works fairly well in quiet environments, though performance varies based on what phone it's paired to. Callers come through loud and clear, but they also frequently have trouble hearing us, especially if there's a lot of background noise. On the plus side, the battery lasts quite a while, even after three years of on and off use, and the builder didn't skimp on details. Despite the all-new electronics inside, he was able to cram in a soundboard from a Hallmark communicator ornament, so the communicator's distinctive chirp remains. Speaking of the Builder, he's a one-man operation, and we weren't able to get in touch with him for permission to link to him before press time. We're not sure if he's building these anymore. We will drop his information in the video description if and when he gives us permission to share it. In all, the custom-built Bluetooth communicator is a mediocre performer as far as Bluetooth speakerphones go, especially for the price you'll pay, which back in 2010 was between $200 and $300. But for the die-hard Star Trek fan it's hard to think of a more perfect addition to the collection or a more admirable promotion of toy to collectible. It remains a cherished part of our collection. That's going to do it for our Starfleet Communicator Review. Hope you enjoyed the brief change of pace. We are Pocket Now. Follow us at all the usual places. Make sure and subscribe here on YouTube. And thank you very much for watching. We'll be back soon. <laughs>